I put down my pencil again and I read over the secrets. That candy corn one is shocking, I tell you. Writing my problems did not make me feel better. I put my head on my desk and I covered up with my arms. Just then, I heard my teacher's voice. His name is Mr. Scary. That is a good Halloween name, I think, only he actually uses it for the whole entire year. He said to please take out our arithmetic books. I kept on staying covered up, because how can I do arithmetic when there's scary secrets in my brain? All around me, room one got out their books. I took my sweatshirt from the back of my chair and tucked it next to my ears. Sweatshirts help block out classroom noise. Pretty soon, I heard my teacher again. Junie B., are you all right back there, he asked. Only before I could even answer, a tattletale girl named May started blabbing her head off. No, Mr. Scary, Junie Jones is not all right, he, she said. Junie Jones is not paying attention again, as usual, she thought for a second. And Junie Jones has been doing other bad stuff lately, too, she said. Like yesterday, she ate half her sandwich from her lunchbox during silent reading. Only I couldn't even tattle on her because you said if I keep tattling, I'll get a note sent home. And so thank goodness that you are finally on the ball today. After that, room one got very silent and Mr. Scary didn't say any words. I felt shaky inside. He was thinking of a punishment for me, probably. Finally, I raised my head and I peeked one eye, one eye at him. He was sitting at his desk writing a note. I did a groan. Hmm. It was to my mother, I think. I started to hide my eye again. Only just then, Mr. Scary stood up very calm, and he came to the back of the room and gave the note to May. I could not believe my eyeball. Please take this home to your parents, he told her. May's whole mouth came open to the shocking news. No, Mr. Scary. No, 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 please don't make me take a note. Please, please, please. I wasn't tattling. I promise I wasn't. I was just saying that I'm glad you're on the ball today. That's all I was saying. I was saying that I'm glad for you. Mr. Scary smiled. Thank you, May. You're very kind, he said. Then he bent down next to her and he tucked the note in her backpack. I reached over and tapped on him. That note was long overdue, I said. Mr. Scary sucked in his cheeks at me. Please sit up, Junie B., he said. His voice did not sound happy. Now, he said. I quick sat up. Okie doke, I'm sitting. See me sitting, Mr. Scary, I said. Plus, also, I'm going to get out my arithmetic book, I think. I found it in my backpack. Yes, siree, here it is. I've got my book, and so... I am all set to do ar arithmetic now, I said. Mr. Scary kept on standing there. I looked up at him. Alrighty, you can be heading on back to your desk, I said. He still did not move. I waved my fingers. Keep in touch, I said. Mr. Scary bent down next to me, and he talked real serious in my ear. You need to pay attention in class, Junie B, he said. I shouldn't have to tell you that. I did a sigh. Hmm. Then I leaned over and whispered to him real private. 